Hey there guys, welcome back to another ration review. And today we have a Canadian IMP or individual meal pack. This one is from 2011, so it's got a few years on it. I'm not sure how it was stored or what conditions it was stored in, but we shall see. Could be a good one, could be a bad one. We won't know until we try it. So yeah, let's get right to it. Let's have a close look. All right, let's have a close look at it. Okay, so we have a supper menu, number five, and this one is meatloaf with cabernet sauce. We have some French writing, pain de vivant. Not sure how to say that. And this one is from 2011. We have some instructions. It is possible to have an entree substituted by another one. Uh, that's cool, I guess. And this is a military ration, not for resale. Good to know. Nothing on the bottom, nothing on the back, nothing on the sides. And of course we have the usual paper bag lined with foil and that's about it. So let's get right to it. Let's crack it open. All right, let's open it up. Just cut right into it. And we're in to what we got. And the first thing we have is a Werther's Original Coffee. Not bad. We have a couple of shortcake biscuits. Very interesting. Canadian matches. Pink tip. Cinnamon gum or chiclets. All right, we get two whiteners or creamers. Two packages of sugar. We get a nice little picture of some sailboats. We have a tea bag of orange picot. All right, we have an instant coffee type one. All right, we have a package of steak sauce, more than likely A1. <laughs> All right, we get two packages of shortcake biscuits, some instant mashed potatoes. Can't go wrong with that. All right, we have some peanut butter and strawberry jam. Can't go wrong with that. We have a package of Lipton cup of soup, spring vegetable flavor, very nice. We have the famous Canadian IMP beverage bag, which is a lot better than the MRE version. We get a nice little toothpick. So we have a sports drink cherry flavor, not bad. A moist toilette. We get a package of tortillas, very nice. So the older IMPs come with a score sheet so you can rate your meal. On the newer ones, it's all done online. It's nice to see that. We have some salt and pepper. Always a nice touch. We have a giant napkin and the Canadian IMP extra large spoon. All right, we have some pineapple tidbits made by the Warnick company. And here's the main entree, the meatloaf with cabernet sauce. That's a very long list of ingredients. If you guys wanna pause that and read it, go ahead. And the nutrition facts made by the Warnick company. And that's it. All right, guys, there you have all the contents. And as you can already tell, you get a lot of stuff with these Canadian IMPs. That's just the way they are. That's one of the biggest pluses. It's the amount of variety you get. So if you compare them to the American MREs, I think these are a step above. I'm just being honest with you guys. I'll probably offend some people out there, but I'm just keeping it real. But yeah, we'll get the main entree heated. We'll throw it in some boiling water. And then we'll start with the drinks. And in case you guys didn't know, I'm a little bit sick, a little bit under the weather, so I should be back to normal next week, just in case you noticed. But yeah, let's begin. All right, let's prepare the cherry sports drink and we'll use the beverage bag. Should be easy. All right, so let's get a nice clean cut. There you have the cherry powder. Looks like it's in perfect condition. Get it in the bag. All right, let's add some water. And there we have a fill line for the sports drink. That looks just about right. 
So now we close it up and give it a good shake. All right, there we have the cherry sports drink. Let's take a sip. What can I say? It tastes just like cherry Kool-Aid. It's got the nice artificial flavor that all kids love. Yeah, not bad. All right, let's prepare the coffee and tea. We'll start with the coffee and we'll finally use our foreign MRE.com mug. So. We have our instant coffee type one. And it's just a fine powder. Our whitener or a creamer. And our sailboat sugar. Well, might as well get the tea started. Our tea bag. Just a standard tea bag. It's got a good scent to it. We'll make our tea with whitener and sugar. All right, let's add some water. stir stir the tea we'll let it steep for a few minutes all right there's our Canadian IMP coffee let's give it a try Yeah, that is a good cup of joe. It's got a nice roasted flavor to it. Just a slight hint of bitterness, but overall, it is a good cup of coffee. All right, it's been a couple of minutes. Let's try the tea. And we'll squeeze the bag just a little bit. Of course, we'll trigger some people. And there's our tea. Let's give it a try. That is a good cup of tea. It's got good flavor to it. It's a little bit on the mild side, but overall, it's excellent. I guess it's time for the tray. Let's break it out. Let's check out the shortcake biscuits. Let's see what they're all about. there we have it there's the logo got a nice little design no real smell to it break it in half all right let's give it a try mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. that cookie or biscuit whatever you want to call it it's got a nice buttery flavor to it it's got a really good mild sweetness yeah it's in perfect condition nothing wrong with it there's absolutely no staleness let's try this dip it in our tea all right mm. wow try the coffee All right, let's prepare the Lipton cup of soup. This product contains MSG, very nice. And this one is the spring vegetable flavor. All right, let's add some hot water. All 
right? That looks about right. All right, we'll let that sit for a few minutes. All right, let's check out the instant mashed potatoes. And there it is. It's just a fine powder. Let's add some hot water. Yeah, it would have been a much brighter idea to use a bowl, but this is what you're supposed to use to prepare it. I'm just trying to be as accurate as possible. All right, let's get it on our tray. All right. All right, so now it looks like mashed potatoes. So I guess we can give it a try. And there we have the mashed potatoes. Let's try them. Mm. Pretty good. Let's give it a bite. Mm. Very nice and creamy mashed potatoes. Doesn't really need salt or pepper. It's just perfect the way it is. Yeah, not bad. All right, let's try the Lipton cup of soup. There you can see some noodles. It looks like carrots and onions. All right, let's try it. That has a really nice earth flavor to it. You can definitely taste the carrots. Reminds me a lot of sweet and sour soup. It's got that saltiness and bitterness along with some sweetness. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, let's check out the pineapple tidbits with syrup. And of course, we have the famous IMP metallic pouches. Let's get it opened up. All right, and we're in. Let's dump it on our tray. All right, and it looks like you get a decent portion. Let's try some of it. And there we have the pineapple tidbits. Let's try them. They are a little bit stale, a little bit fermented, but overall it just tastes like pineapples with some sweet syrup. All right, it looks like our meatloaf is hot and ready. Let's open it up. Let's see what it looks like. And there's the meatloaf. Let's get it onto our tray. Let's get a nice sauce. All right, and you get a nice slab of meatloaf. And there we have the Cabernet sauce. You see some mushrooms in there, some tomatoes. Let's try the meatloaf. See how that goes. And there we have our meatloaf. Let's try it. Yeah, not bad. It could use a little bit of salt and pepper, but let's try the Cabernet sauce by itself. Get a piece of tomato and mushroom. The sauce is a little bit thin. All right, here we go. Yeah, the sauce is actually pretty good. It's got good flavor to it, good seasoning. It's very peppery, and I believe what I'm tasting is the Cabernet. And yeah, it's pretty good. Let's add some salt and pepper. A little bit of salt. All right, should be good enough. Let's try the meatloaf and the Cabernet sauce. Hope I'm saying it right. <laughs> Let's get a nice close up of it. All right, on the hatch. 
Mm. That sauce has a really unique flavor, really good. I'm not hating it. All right, I guess we can try it with the steak sauce. Get a nice clean cut. Yeah, I guess we can try it by itself first. And it kind of does look like A1 steak sauce. Let's try it. And it is very similar to A1 steak sauce. Let's try a little bit. All right, let's try another bite. There we have our meatloaf with A1 steak sauce. All right. Mm. Mm hmm. Really nice. Let's get another bite. Yeah, let's wash it down. So far, the main entree has been excellent. No complaints. All right, let's check out the tortillas or tortillas, whatever you want to call them. And they are nice and warm. And we'll get rid of that. And you get two of them. So I guess we can make a PB&J burrito. Let's do that. And this could get a little bit messy. Just a warning out there. All right, just roll it up. And there we have our PB&J burrito. Let's give it a try. Mm. That is amazing. If you've never tried that, don't knock it until you've tried it. Go and buy yourself a pack of tortillas and give it a try. All right, let's try some of the meatloaf with the tortilla. But first we'll try it with the mashed potatoes. We'll get some of the sauce, see how that goes. All right, let's try the mash and cabernet sauce. Mmm, it's really good. Not a bad combination. Yeah, it definitely goes with it. Might as well throw in some of the meatloaf. Mm. All right, so now let's try this. Let's have some fun with it. All right, so now we're getting messy. Let's try everything with the tortilla. All right, here we go. I can tell that they put a lot of thought into this. Everything's really good. It goes well together. Let's try the Werther's Original coffee flavor. Check that out. It's really nice. All right, let's give it a try. Mm. Yeah, that has a really nice creamy caramel coffee flavor to it. But yeah, it's Werther's Original. You can't really go wrong with that. And here's the matches, just in case you guys are wondering if they still work. And of course they do. Let's try the moist toilet very quickly. It smells a little bit like soap. Yeah, not a bad moist toilet. All right, so I guess we can skip the gum. I'm sure you guys know what it tastes like. If you don't know, it's just cinnamon flavored gum. You can find these in the American MREs. Nothing too special about it, so I guess we'll skip it. Well, that wraps it up. This was the Canadian IMP menu number five from 2011. Meatloaf with Cabernet sauce. 
And I must say this one was a really good one. Surprisingly, everything was in really good shape, really good condition, which is uncommon for IMPs. Usually they go stale after two to three years. These must have been stored in really good conditions. I have a few more of these, different menus, same batch. So if you guys wanna see that, leave me a comment. And if you guys can do me a huge favor and leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Also make sure to hit the little bell button to get instant notifications whenever I upload a video. Yeah, just wanna thank all of you guys for tuning in, for your support. A huge thanks to all my patrons as well. And as always, thank you guys for watching. See you soon.